Hey everyone, uh, this is Mark. Uh, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking a moment to watch the video. So, um, I've, I've had this, this idea in my head for a while. Um, I, this, this particular topic came to my attention um, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Ed from the King's Court uh, did a video on uh, a columnist who wrote an article in the LA Times um, asking if Elvis was still relevant in 2022. And uh, I, I listened to, to Ed uh, get, you know, do the video. And uh, I know a lot of my video, well, most of my videos are reviews and things like that. But I also want to have videos where I discuss topics and you know, different things that come up. So um, this particular video kind of struck me. Um, and as an Elvis fan, um, I felt the need to address it. So, uh, first and foremost, I have a pretty good feeling that this columnist, as he wants to be called, um, is not an Elvis fan, doesn't really know much about Elvis whatsoever. And if you were to ask this person to name five Elvis songs, I'd be a little uh, curious if, if he could name even three. He might say, oh, Hound Dog, uh, Heartbreak Hotel, and All Shook Up, and that's probably be where, where, where it would end. So I took very little as to what this columnist had to say. Um, like I said, if you're not an Elvis fan, uh, to me then, you know, a guy like this is more of a critic. And, uh, you know, it just basically, in a nutshell, the article kind of concluded with the fact that he didn't think that Elvis was relevant. And that, you know, his, his shine and luster kind of, I guess you can say, has worn off over the years. I will say I completely, 100% uh, disagree with that assessment. Um, I think it's ridiculous to even ask that question. Um, I think it's nonsensical. I think anybody who would question whether Elvis Presley in this day and age in 2022 is irrelevant, um, I think is sheer insanity. Um, a couple of things. If you, just from what I've seen, um, just from what I've seen, uh, if you if you even go on eBay and there's bidding on any Elvis record, book, anything, the bids can go up as high as hundreds of dollars. The fact that most of, a lot of Elvis's early FTD LP sets, look at the money they're going for. Standing room only sold for well over a little bit over a thousand. Uh, another one sell, sold for well over eight hundred dollars. Um, the good time sessions I've seen it listed for over six hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Um, the Viva Las Vegas FTD book set that came out a couple years ago, a thousand eleven hundred dollars. I saw um, a his handed mine, uh, a very beautiful copy, an original nineteen sixty uh, release. And it came out, um, this is about a month or so ago. I kept my eye on it. I bid on it. Once it got a little over $100, I backed off. Uh, in a matter of a minute, it jumped from 100 to 400 And it ended up selling, I think, for close to $900. So, you know, come on. Graceland, second only to the White House in the, as the most visited historical place to visit in the entire United States. Look at August, uh, Elvis Week coming up in August, this month later to uh, commemorate Elvis's passing. People come from all over the world, all over the country. Go to Facebook. Look at how many dozens upon dozens of Facebook channels or Facebook pages and fan pages there are. Um, the collectability of all, everything Elvis. Um, the movie. The movie did amazing. People went out in droves to see this, uh, this come, reaching out to a new generation. Um, so, so that's it. That, that was the whole reason of this video. I didn't want to ramble on too much. But um, to me, for anybody to question for a minute whether Elvis Presley is still relevant in 2022, we need to put that nonsense talk to rest. Because, yes, he is, his music is very much alive, very much inspiring. Uh, to a whole new generation. He is as amazing now as he was when he was alive. Um, like I said, you know, the books, the countless books that are out on him, um, the memorabilia, 
Um, he is the highest sought after uh, uh, as far as collectability of any artist out there. So just wanted to take a few moments to, uh, to just get that off my chest. Um, you know, he, he has uh, really uh, been a, a big part of my life. Uh, my daughter's starting to really get into his music. And it is reaching out to a new generation, and that just thrills my soul. So uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for taking a moment to watch this. I know I rambled for a little bit, but uh, just wanted to uh, do this video quickly and uh, get it out there. So I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you real soon. Bye.